Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to get this hair. You guys have been requesting it a lot lately and it's probably because I've been wearing it like every single day. It's become my favorite hairstyle of all times. It's just like, who doesn't love big, intentionally, wait, huh? I mean, who doesn't love intentional frizz, right? Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna need is a curling wand. The one that I am obsessed with is the Bellamy wand. This is the 25 millimeter barrel. This one comes in a set with a few different barrels that you can detach and attach. Sea salt spray. I specifically love this one. It's been making my hair super lioness. Sun bum sea spray beach formula. You're also gonna need a hairspray. I've just been using this Bumble and Bumble Spray Demod. This is just a pretty light hold hairspray. And lastly, a teasing comb if you wanna really just like fluff it up. My hair extensions are Bellamy 860 is the color, and these are the ones they did in collaboration with Guy Tang. I did a whole video reviewing them, so I'll link that down below for you guys. I'm gonna first section off the hair, half of it. So it's not gonna be the sexiest thing, but section it off. The technique for this is actually very easy and very quick. So take your hairspray, make sure it's a light hold hairspray and just lightly mist, brush it out. Oof, ate some of that. First thing I'm gonna do is take a section of a hair and I'm just gonna take my wand, point it downwards like this and lightly wrap that hair around the wand. And then release. Okay, so the technique for the next piece of hair is you wanna take it in the opposite direction as the first piece. So the first piece, we curled it away from our face. The second piece, let's curl it towards our face. And a few seconds, just a few seconds, and release. Boom. So by curling the hair in different directions, it makes it look more natural, and it's also gonna give you more volume, because if you curl all the hair the same way, Sometimes they tend to stick together and just kind of create like Hollywood waves and you don't want that. You want more of a beachy, natural wave. So uh, yeah, you're gonna keep doing that throughout your whole head. You have to make sure that you leave space in between the hair and the barrel. So you see how none, none of the hair is touching each other in the curl, it's all like separate. So the looser you could get the wave around the barrel, the better. Sometimes as I'm holding the curl, I twist the end of the hair because I want it to stay together in its little curl, so I kind of just like rub the ends together. Not sure if that does anything, but I did get my hair done once by a stylist and she did that and I was like, ooh, what is happening there? I don't know what it was purpose was, but like I do it now and it works, so. And then as I'm going through the hair, I like to just alternate the size of hair strands that I pick up, so bigger ones, smaller ones, you know? All right, and then also, a lot of people ask me how I blend extensions with my hair when I'm curling it. Don't curl your own hair first and then your extensions. Like, I have my own hair in here, and I'm mixing it with the extension hair, and I'm gonna curl it all as one piece, so that way the curls flow together. Like, the natural hair and the extensions flow together. And um, yeah, I think that's the trick to really blending the extensions. Don't do uh, the extensions first and then the hair. See how it looks like one piece of hair? It's not. It's not my hair, it's fake. Messier the better. Really piece them up, get that phrase going. So now it's time for the last section, which is the top. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I make my bangs frame my face. I take the small section here, and I'm gonna grab my curler and just hold it down flat and wrap my hair around away from my face. We're just gonna keep doing the same thing we've been doing throughout the whole hair, except with the top sections. If you have layers like I do, or if you have a uh, real hair and then fake hair down here, you wanna keep these even looser than these because if these are super tight curls, it's gonna bunch up and you're gonna tell the difference between your top hair and your, not your hair. <laughs> Next, 
so now that we have curled all the hair, we're gonna add some salt spray. And I'm just gonna generously add this to the hair and just kind of start fluffing it up, like crunching it, like in the old days, you know? You remember when you used to put gel in your hair and crunch it up. Everyone did it, don't lie. You want that Shakira hair? Huh? No, no, Shakira. Oh, Shakira, yeah. You have to say it with accent. Shakira. The beach spray really gets your hair nice and textury, but if you even want to get even more crazy with it, you can get a teasing comb and then just kind of pick up sections. Ow. And I just like to just back comb a little bit underneath so I can have even bigger hair. All right, so then just give it one last spray with some hair spray. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get these really effortless beachy waves. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to Snapchat me if you try to do this hairstyle or Instagram, hashtag Desi Makeup or Twitter because I love that too. So yeah, I will put all of those social media links down below. And if you guys have any questions or requests for videos, don't forget to leave those in the comments. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Better? You know the song's about me, right? Having a booger crisis. Look at the flick of the wrist. Um, give no fucks. Yeah, we don't give no fucks. Yeah. I always have a really strong highlight. This isn't anything new. Yeah.